With Havoc Destruction, it's very much a, a two-phase system. We want to be able to break things apart, and we want to be able to hold things together in a structural way. So what we've got here is a, a number of instanced objects, the vases, the, the, the shelves, the pillars, um, and all of these can be set up in our tools, in our modeler plugins. And the idea for destruction is we want to be able to take what the artist gives us and automatically break up the object in a convincing way. So with these pillars, for example, I want to be able to shoot them at the bottom and they have split up and fall and crack and break. And all of the splits and the internal faces that get expo exposed as part of that fracture, we want to automatically add in textures that are appropriate and that are con controllable by the, the artist. So even though this object this pillar here and this pillar here has all been pre-fractured for performance reasons. Um, because different forces are being applied in different ways, they will always split up differently and you're getting a large amount of performance out of you being able to reuse the same asset across the different areas in the level, but you're getting uniquely different experiences every time you, you break it. So if I, I see one of the, the larger vases, 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 um, if I shoot it at the bottom, it splits in one way, and we can see there that was hier hierarchical splitting, so as one splits, then it can be split up again and again, depending on how much performance you've got available. If I shoot it on the left, I get one result, and if I shoot it on the right, I get the same result. So you're getting a different performance out of the, the rigid body every single time. Of course, everything in this scene is, is instanced. Um, so all of the pillars, there's three levels of destruction going on. I can have plaster and then there's a, a sort of a cement around the, the main core. And the main core itself is slightly deformable. You might want that for gameplay reasons in order to keep particular structural aspects in place.